Hi guys, I'm Elle and welcome to Josiah Nick. In today's video, I want to talk about what I want to anti-haul in November 2020. If you haven't heard, anti-hauling means choosing certain things that you consider wasteful and you don't want to participate in or have in your life in general. So in today's video, I will tell you some things that I feel is personally very wasteful and things that I think is just not necessarily something I will want in my life. So the first thing I find personally very wasteful to buy is Biden merch. Just because he is now going to be the next president of the United States does not mean I would want Biden merch. I don't understand how we benefit from having merch of another white male American that is basically just going to exploit the working class once more. I feel like we can do a lot better with the money that would have otherwise gone to buying merch. I think we can always use the 25 to 40, whatever amount you use to buy merch to donate it to a local homeless shelter or to buy someone a pumpkin spice latte behind you when you're going to Starbucks. I voted for Biden. I'm not saying you shouldn't celebrate him as a president. What I'm saying is I think it's not beneficial to purchase merch that would only serve to make him richer. The point that I'm making is to help contribute money to the world so that we can help the most needy and the most vulnerable because those are the people that most need our money and our time and our support and our appreciation. But if you want to show your support towards Biden in a different way, you can always put like social media graphics on your platforms. You could always paint the word Biden on a shirt. Like, I don't think it has to be like a typical graphic t-shirt. I think you can represent and celebrate his win in a lot of different ways that doesn't involve consuming clothing because that can be very wasteful very fast. Now the second quote unquote item that I want to anti-haul this November is Black Friday. I feel like every single year it's like Black Friday is turning into like Black Month. There's constantly a lot of sales and clearances and just discounts everywhere. It's like there's more and more pressure to buy things that are just like not necessary for us to consume at a faster pace. And I feel like it's just like taking away time from what we should really be focusing on, which is our health, finding a stable job, finding fulfillment. I think Black Friday just has convinced us that we need to go to these stores at these certain days to find quote unquote deals of things that we don't necessarily need. But I'm not saying don't go to Black Friday or don't go and get yourself discounted stuff if you actually need it. What I'm saying is if you don't necessarily have a need for the products, I don't think you should be buying discounted goods that you probably didn't even realize you quote unquote needed in your house beforehand. I feel like at the end of the day, if I was to go and participate in Black Friday, I would be wasting more money and it would be a bigger loss for me than an actual win. I simply wish that people didn't really care about Black Friday and just constantly consuming things at a cheap price, but it is very tempting and very like desirable. But you know, like sometimes I just wonder what if people instead chose to buy ingredients to make a spiced pumpkin pie, or go on like a foliage drive or just like playing the leaves. Like when was like the last time we genuinely lived in the moment and did things we actually really loved instead of waiting in line or waiting on the website to buy something that probably will not make us happy for very long. Now, the next one is the iPhone Pro 12, I think it is, and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I don't even know the words of the new phones anymore, but basically, Apple just released a new phone that has some sort of updates and I'm so confused, like, why do we need updated phones so often? Like, it's really like six months before a new phone is released and it just has, like, minor updates. So I don't really see why people, like, give in to the temptation of, like, always buying things. And I think buying new iPhones keeps you in this cycle of paying more and more for your phone when I think at the end of the day, what I find personally important is being fully in the moment and creating memories of the people I care about and not really listening to FOMO. I feel like the update is driven more by like wanting to stay connected on social media to have easier scrolling time to better capture the moment, but I don't think it's really engaging us to like be present and to like just be authentically here instead of like just on our phone. Now the last thing I want to mention because I don't like preaching too much and 
this is something that I personally will just take for myself but if anything resonates then obviously take away from this video what you will but basically my last point is that I don't want to buy any new Thanksgiving outfits for this holiday season I think it's kind of sad that we just buy clothing just for one day and then we just like leave it in our closet for the rest of the year I think it not only wastes our money and our time but also resources like who are we helping just buy something that we're probably never gonna wear again I just personally feel like we would do so much better as a general society to just use what we have especially people that want to look cute I actually trust that people have really great items already in their closet so it just comes down to like taking the time to combine pieces and to get creative and just see how you can combine things also on the other hand we can always mend clothing or upcycle it to look completely different and another point I want to mention is there's so much like resellers online like Depop and Poshmark and ThreadUp are amazing sites where you can like literally buy things used now that people are becoming more aware of like sustainability and social justice and all this stuff it'd be so cool to be like yeah I bought this used and doesn't it look so cool and actually help like a local reseller that's like trying to avoid clothing to go to the landfills and stuff like that so yeah I really feel like it can be a whole conversational piece instead of just being like yeah I bought it at Bloomingdale you know and lastly I just want to mention that Thanksgiving can be seen as a representation of colonialism and marginalizing the indigenous people in the United States so if you are to celebrate Thanksgiving, I would highly recommend you placing attention to indigenous people that have allowed us to have this land and has allowed us to create what we have today and I put allowed very lightly because they were actually forced off their land so if you could honor them and respect them that would be beautiful and I think that's what it comes down to like uplifting and empowering people to really be respected and to be heard and to be advocated for and not just look pretty not just eat pumpkin pie and not just watch the parade and be sad that you can't be with your friends you know so those are my last points if you resonated with anything please let me know in the comments i just love seeing people interact with my videos and with the content that i make and it's also super beneficial for me to help with the algorithms so if you haven't already please give this video a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe and hopefully you guys stay safe bye